Zenworks Configuration Management 11 allows you to distribute the Windows operating system via Zenworks Imaging and Preboot services. This makes it easy to take an image of a prepped machine, store it in either Zenworks Imaging format, Ghost format, or Microsoft's WIM format, Windows Imaging. To do this, you simply start by creating the base image according to Microsoft's best practices. This typically involves using sysprep. Once you have the machine sysprepped, you're then ready to take an image. To take an image, you simply pixie boot the machine and elect to upload that image as either a ZMG or a WIM. Once you have the image, you can then create a bundle from that image. Here you see one that I've created for Windows 7 Professional. And it includes the metadata that says, when I want to deploy this bundle, what I'd like you to do is use this image X image to go down. Use this credential set, and then I can also elect to dis restore this destructively or non-destructively. You also see here, as with other bundles, you can have multiple actions. So for Windows purposes, you can also execute imaging scripts, linked application bundles, multicast image sets, additional third-party images, or Zenworks images. This allows you to do additive imaging such that you can lay a base image down and then provide drivers, provide applications, or other files that are necessary as separate, unique images. This means less image maintenance overall. Once you have a bundle, you can then assign that bundle to existing devices by going to the Relationships tab. You can see here, this is assigned to two devices in my system. Once one of these devices fails, you can go to that device. And here, you can say, I want to apply some assigned imaging bundle, or I want to apply a rule base. Additionally, if this is the CEO's machine, for instance, you may want to back this up. So you have the option to say, reach out and take an image across the network remotely. And on the next boot, when they pixie boot, it will automatically take an image of that machine. In my case, however, I have a device that's not failing. It's a new device that we've brought into our environment. To image those devices, we can use hardware rules to determine what image goes down. You'll see here I've created a Win7 image rule. And in that rule, I've simply said, take and deploy the Windows 7 Professional X64 image to the device that has this MAC address. In addition to MAC address, you could also target this via serial number, IP address, or several other categories. When we say OK, it's simply a matter now of booting that machine. So I'll go to my XP workstation, and I'll reboot this machine to the network so that it pixie boots. When it pixie boots, it communicates with the Zenworks server to determine, based on its hardware or based on its identity, what work needs to be done. And you'll see here it's determined that it needs to do a Windows PE imaging task. Therefore, it proceeds to bring down the Windows PE environment, and then once Windows PE is down, it will proceed to restore the ImageX image. Additionally, if you use the Zenworks imaging that's native, instead of booting WinPE, it will boot a SUSE Linux Enterprise kernel and perform the imaging operation within that environment. These two can be used in conjunction with one another, so you might use a WIM image to do step one and a Zen image to do step two. It really depends on what you've settled on for your ideal imaging solution in your environment. So with Zenworks Imaging, you can quickly and easily distribute Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 2003, and Windows 2008 and 2008 R2 via Zenworks.